welcome to our kindergarten performance of The Mitten. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Nikki that lived with her grandmother and, and grandfather in the woods. Nikki's grandmother, whom she called Baba, used to knit her sweaters and socks and other clothing. One day, Nikki asked Baba to make her some brand new mittens that were white like the snow. So she said, was happy to make Nikki a pair of mittens, but she did not think white was a good choice for a color. She was afraid that Nikki would lose them in the snow and wouldn't be able to find them again. So Baba and her grandfather said, But in the end, of course, Nikki got her way. Baba did make her a new pair of mittens that was pure white. So Baba gave her the mittens, and Nikki ran out to play in the snow. Sure enough, just as Baba had said, she soon dropped one of her mittens. Nikki walked away from it and never even noticed that it was missing. She was just too excited about the beautiful sparkling snow, and the snowflakes were falling all around.
very cold outside, by and by, along came two rabbits and a raccoon. They were very cold, and when they saw the mitten, they thought that it would make a nice warm home. So they crawled into the mitten together to stay warm. Soon along came a wolf, a fox, and a lion. They saw that warm mitten and they decided it would make a nice warm home. So they asked the rabbits and raccoon to let them in. there was room for any more animals in the mitten. So they said, Over. So the wolf, the lion, and the fox climbed inside, and the mitten was stretched out just as far as it could go. Soon along came a bear that was out for a walk in the woods. She was very cold, and when she saw that warm mitten, she wanted in too. possibly hold much more, so they said... there would be room for a bear, but when they saw those big claws and teeth, <laughs> they knew they had to make some room somehow. So the bear went inside the mitten. <laughs> the mitten was pulled and stretched too many times its size. Steam rose from the mitten and animals huddled together inside. But still, Baba's good knitting held fast. By and by, along came a mouse. She was just a very small mouse, and she was very cold. When she saw that warm mitten, she wanted to get inside too. So she said, Well, it's great to see you cold out in the snow. So they said,
poor little mouse just shivered and stared at them sadly. The animals looked at the little tiny mouse and just rolled their eyes. The bear looked at the wolf. The wolf looked at the fox. The fox looked at the lion. The lion looked at the raccoon. And the raccoon looked at the rabbits. Then they all let out a heavy sigh and moved over just enough to let the little mouse squeeze in. And then something happened. Mitten. When she went home that night, she had to tell Baba that she had lost it just as she said, and of course she never did find it again. Bye. 